the mayor also had his own news briefing earlier today from City Hall, and he talked about some good news. Those daily indicators, they all show the numbers going down. For example, the number of people who test positive, the number of people who are going to the hospital with coronavirus, uh, all of those showing good news. But he said he is extremely troubled by this uh, news of several uh, uh, numerous bodies that have been piling up at a funeral home in Brooklyn. He said this is simply not going to be acceptable. Neighbors had complained for several days of a foul odor near this funeral home in Brooklyn. Police discovered dozens of bodies in two unrefrigerated U-Hauls. Other bodies were on the floor of the funeral home, and this morning the mayor questioned why didn't the owner notify police or someone sooner? This horrible situation that occurred with the funeral home in Brooklyn, absolutely unacceptable. Let's be clear about this. Funeral homes are private uh, organizations, private businesses. They have an obligation to the people they serve to treat them with dignity. Also this morning, the mayor announced the city is getting tougher on social distancing rules. A new force of 1,000 city employees will back up police. They'll also give away free masks and warn New Yorkers to keep wearing those masks in public. So this is a big group. A lot of them have been out there already. More will come and we're going to keep building this ability to be out there in public spaces, educating, patrolling, but also enforcing. Ironically, the White House is sending the opposite message to the rest of the nation, to go ahead and relax social distancing rules. Just yesterday, the president and vice president held a packed news conference at the White House. Hardly anyone was wearing a mask. What I fear, Dave, is when the president tells everyone to loosen up, and we're already seeing you know, people flocking to the beaches in some of these states and you know, congregating again, there's going to be a flare up and it's going to set them back. But I'm also worried for New York. Also, the mayor today talked about expanding the number of testing sites in New York City. Right now, we have 11 sites provided by the city. He said by the middle of May, we should have 30 sites in New York City for testing.